Hey guys, I was going to live stream tonight, but uh, my iPhone 7 doesn't hold a charge and apparently the charger in my car uh, is not compatible with it. So that's weird, but um, we are trying to hit our $500 goal for this week. Um, my week is Sunday, sorry, Monday to Sunday. So today's the last day and I need a hundred bucks. Um, I've definitely been procrastinating. It is five, uh, yes, because of daylight savings time. It is 520 ish here. So uh, we are on an order for about $12. I missed a screenshot again because I was going to be live streaming. But um, here we are doing a video instead. So we're going to go pick this up, see what else we can get tonight. And uh, hopefully we can get $100 by the time we head home tonight. So let's go grab it. All right. Well, it is busy as frick in there. Yeah, we were waiting in there for way too long, and uh, this came up while I was waiting, so I was like, hey, we're going to salvage our time here, and uh, hopefully this will be a little bit more worth our time, and yeah, hopefully Wendy's isn't as slow as that <laughs> Papa John's, because they're notorious too, but uh, let's see. All right, so we just dropped those two off and uh, we're kind of making up for lost time from those DoorDash offers that it was a double. Um, and actually, funny enough, I got the worry-free on a sign on both of those. So my acceptance rate actually went up and my completion rate wasn't affected at all. But it literally doesn't matter because Platinum is a garbage program. So if you're thinking about going for it, um, don't. Unless you have to have it for scheduling. For me in my market, it's fine. I can schedule ahead. It's no big deal. But um, otherwise, yeah, it's literally garbage. So we did get this offer actually on Trip Radar, which is surprising. So we're going to go pick this up. And then, um, oh yeah, there are some uh, quests out actually. Uh, they didn't immediately go in. So that's a little concerning. But hopefully, hopefully we'll get the earnings for it. So uh, we'll see. All right, dropped that one off and the trip quest actually did come in, um, but only for two trips, which technically I've only done two, but the first one was a double. So I'm curious to see if the other one will drop in yet. Um, th the app even says that we've done three trips, but is only registering two. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, but we did snag this DoorDash. It's a little tricky because we're probably gonna have to drive most of that back before we get another one, but you know, we'll see. Um, so, Hey, we knocked out our first hour with a solid, what, what is that? 20, almost $30 an hour. So we're not going to complain too much. Let's grab this and get her done. It's starting to rain. It's no fun. Okay. So I figured out the trip thing. Um, basically there are three different quests going on and they all are the same, but just in different parts of the city. So because that double pickup was like half and half in each, I got a d for each of them. Um, and then that other one that I just did was $2 on the other one. So depending on where I'm at, I will increase the, that ladder, you know, incentive. Yikes, got a ambulance here. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll increase that incentive. But that's really cool that I could do both if uh, I go to the right spots, so. Just drop that off and we got this spark offer pretty solid uh low items so it's going to be easy but we might have to wait a few minutes before we can actually pick it up since it's uh, about 15 minutes till the pickup time and we're like probably five minutes out so anyways we're gonna head that way and uh total our thumbs i guess we here now we're just waiting hopefully It'll come out quick. It does say it gets ready, so let's see. One, two, and three offers. Super easy pickup. These are gonna be the easiest drop-offs I've ever had on Spark, probably. So we're gonna zoom through this one and uh, see where we're at. I think we'll be right around 60. Um, so pretty solid so far. Drop number one. 
Also, real quick while I'm dropping these off, I just wanted to shout out Meaty Mama for starting the YouTube Creator Challenge uh, 2024. So basically, she started a challenge where she's trying to make $10,000, but it was an open invite to all of her viewers um, and whoever else obviously catches wind of it from the hashtag that uh, you know, basically just create your own goal and try to hit it by the end of November and uh, document it on YouTube. So here we are, this is actually part of it. Um, my, what I committed to is trying to be monetized by the end of November. That was already a year end goal for me, but I was like, why not just challenge myself and push it a little bit sooner? So here we are. Um, where I'm standing now on that is I need about a hundred and uh, I believe 28 more subscribers. So we're getting close there, but then the watch time is kind of my big hurdle there. I need about 2,500 hours. Um, so in order to hit that, I've kind of committed to doing at least one long form, you know, YouTube video upload a week with hopefully some accompanying uh, YouTube shorts. And then I am going live more often. Unfortunately, my phone is not really uh, the best setup for that since it doesn't really hold a charge very well. <laughs> but I can still go live on this and we're, we will. It'll just be kind of low quality for now. So bear with me till I get a new phone in February-ish. Um, and yeah, so I mean, if you want to support me with that, definitely drop a like, subscribe, comment, you know, get it out in the algorithm and check out everybody else doing this awesome challenge. Uh, it's really fun to challenge yourself and join in if you're a creator as well. So, um, yeah, just want to give her a shout out, but uh, we're going to keep delivering these things. So we'll see you at the drop off. is the heaviest thing on the planet oh my gosh hey yo guys after declining so many garbage like cash delivery door dashes and just subpar uber eats offers i got what mad dasher would call a certified banger oh my gosh it's a shopping offer it's going way out but even with the commute and driving back it's still like pretty much right at two dollars a mile so this is going to be great we're going to knock it out quick and uh, we're gonna be really close to our $100 goal already. So tonight is looking great. We're probably gonna push it a little bit after and see you know, see how much we can run it up. But uh, yeah, it's looking good. Let's go get this one done. Bro, that sounds like a duck or maybe Squidward. My shoe, my left shoe is whack, I don't know why. Well, that would have been a 15 minute in and out trip, but um, there was a substitution needed and uh, I was trying to contact them. They didn't reply. I gave them five minutes, it's my standard procedure, so uh, still didn't reply. I even left it open to be subbed out until I got to the checkout and um, they still didn't reply, so. I hate it when that happens. It's like, what do you do? Um, but it had me choose my own substitution. So I tried to choose one as close as I could. And uh, yeah, so anyways, we're gonna get this dropped off and uh, see what else we can get. So let's go to the drop off. All right. Alrighty guys, that offer put us over $90 and we're not even at three hours for the night yet. So we are doing wonderful. Mileage is great too. We just got back to the Walmart with this offer as well, which is gonna put us over 100, so we are gonna hit our goal so fast tonight. So we're gonna get in here, do the shopping, and uh, we might see if we can get some more tonight and just run that number up. So let's go get her done. All right, drop that off. We are at three hours and 15 minutes, $105 and only 52 miles. So wonderful night. We just got this offer. It's going to go quick. Another 15 in the bank. So let's go get this one done. 
just dropped that off. Um, it was a hand to me, or she met me at the door, so I didn't record it, but um, that is gonna be the last one for tonight because the wife texted me and said that I need to get my butt home, so I will do that. But uh, I'm gonna go over the numbers here once I pull in, so uh, let's do that here. All right, so we just pulled in. We left the house at 5.20 and it is 9.20, so four hours. That last offer put us at $121.30, and we are at 63.6, so let's call it 64 miles, basically $2 a mile. That is awesome. Um, what is that, $30 an hour as well? Like, I haven't had this great of a Saturday or Sunday night uh, in a long time, so I am extremely happy. That put us over our $500 goal as a part-time Dasher, Uber Eats, or, you know, gig worker. So, um, really happy. And, uh, yeah. So that's about it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely go check out that hashtag. Uh, again, shout out to Meaty Mama. And, uh, again, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one.